All right, I'm going to do a quick wheel cleaner video. Now, this video is probably about seven years in the making. I have tried almost every single wheel cleaning product that is out there. Uh, Sonax, Griots, Heavy Duty, Adams, pretty much anything you could buy at your local parts store. Uh, I've done comparisons like this in the past and picked ones that were the best. And in the end, I'd always concluded that it really didn't matter what type of wheel cleaner you bought because there was no such thing as a touchless wheel cleaner. Uh, no matter which one I got, some did work better than others, but no matter which one I got, I always had to use a brush on the wheels. And finally, I have found this wheel brightener um, from Meguiar's. And this happens to be some of the cheapest stuff that you can get because it's in a large canister, D140. It's in a large canister that you can uh, dilute. I'm going to use it at 2 to 1, but you can dilute it up to 4 to 1. I don't notice much difference depending on the concentration. And this wheel brightener is truly a spray on power wash off now if you just have a hose I, I don't know if that's going to work i will also point out that my wheels in my continued search to try to find something that could actually be touchless my wheels are all ceramic coated also um, so that makes them a little bit easier to clean but again i've not found a single product that would truly get them uh, clean to my standards just by spraying on either hosing off or power washing off until the wheel brightener. So I'm going to do a demonstration. This is my F-250 pickup truck. Uh, it's a diesel. I tow with it. The wheels are absolutely filthy. It's hard to see in, uh, in the camera, but that will show you some. Now, one thing I want to point out about this product is you might every now and then have to do two applications and it's not going to get, if you really want to get behind the wheels like there, uh, it's not going to get that. Um, but as far as getting all these nooks and crannies clean, on a spray on and power wash off application, it's gonna do that, even with this really heavy brake dust that's on there. These wheels look like that after maybe 1500 miles of driving. I mean, it doesn't take long before these wheels are completely covered. And uh, I'm gonna show you really quick. I'm gonna spray on a good amount. Now it goes on kind of thin. It doesn't cling like some of the other products. You might think that's gonna indicate that it won't work as well but it really does. This is an acidic product, so you don't want to do anything stupid like spray it on and walk away for 30 minutes while your car is sitting in the sun. But it's not uncommon for wheel cleaners and things like that to be acidic. Don't be scared just by the fact that it is an acidic solution. Definitely want to wear gloves with it and be outside in a ventilated area though because it does have some smell to it. So that's it. I'm gonna let this sit for um, the length of time that it takes me to clean the tires and spray some all-purpose cleaner and do the wheel wells. So maybe about 30 to 60 seconds, and then I'll power wash it off and show you the results. Okay, so this has been sitting now for maybe 30 seconds, and you can already see it's starting to come clean in some spots and starting to streak off. This is where I caught it with the brush a little bit. Now, one thing I'll point out, the reason I've tried so many products, probably a couple dozen products, is because with all these different spokes, a lot of you are gonna have wheels like this, with all these different spokes, to truly get these wheels clean, it takes me almost as long to clean the wheels on my car as it does to actually soak and wash the entire car. So I'm always looking ways, for ways to be more efficient. And, and this product has saved me a ton of time. So again, sitting for maybe a minute now, one application sprayed on, and I'm just going to power wash it off. So you can see there, I mean, this wheel is definitely clean. Now, again, this wheel I would consider to be perfectly clean uh, for purposes of a regular maintenance wash. Now, if you look down here in behind there, you might be able to see there is some dirt back there. So if you really want to get all of this, then you're going to have to come in with a brush and get back there at the angle. But as far as the, the face of the wheel, it's perfectly clean after one spray on and wash off. And I've seen a bunch of other YouTube videos of other products that tend to show on YouTube they have this type of result and I've tried them all and this the Meguiar's uh, wheel brightener which I believe is in their professional series the D140 is the only one that's truly been a spray on wash off solution so what I do is I'll spray this on let it sit power wash it off very very happy with it and then every other wash I'll come in with a brush and get behind these spokes 
just to make sure that the backs of the wheels are also staying clean. You can see down there in the barrel, I mean, it's gonna do a really good job. It's just, you know, for the angle back there where I can't really get the spray, you gotta get in back there with the brush. Um, but if you're looking for a spray on, wash off solution, it doesn't get any better than wheel brightener. Buy it by the gallon, it'll last you a long time and you'll be very, very happy with it.